Wow. That's going to be really tough to follow, and so I'm not even going to try. And I'd have to say that it's teachers like Herman that make this easy, makes this ask easy for me. Um, he is, he's original, he's authentic, he's amazing, and our Seattle teacher residents are like him. Good afternoon. I'm Justin Hendrickson. I'm the proud principal of South Shore Pre-K-8 in the beautiful Rainier Beach community. And I just want to tell you a little bit about the Alliance for Ed, and specifically the Seattle Teacher Residency. I support and we support the Alliance for Ed for the ability to solve problems. We have a teacher shortage, but we have teachers in our community. We just need to recruit them differently. We need to go out and find them. Sometimes they need to Google themselves from uh, Amherst, Massachusetts to get out here, but <laughs> when they do, we latch on and we bring them up to, to Lowell Elementary. But the Alliance has said, why not us? Why not Seattle? They've unapologetic, unapologetically told us, we deserve this. Seattle deserves this. They walk the walk and they follow through. As uh, Glenn in the video said, uh, once you're part of the residency, you don't get to leave it. That's not an option. They follow you, they support you, they bring you in to bring other folks into this program as well. Many years ago, uh, I was an instructional assistant up at the old TT Minor here in Central District, and I was encouraged and cajoled and, and, and threatened to get my teaching certificate, uh, but I looked across the nation. The only one I found was all the way in New York City, New York City teaching fellows. So uh, like Herman, I, I knew a couple people out there. I packed my bags and I moved out there and I landed in the South Bronx. Um, I didn't have anyone come and visit me there. They made it to Yankee Stadium, they made it to the zoo. They didn't come to the South Bronx. Uh, it took a couple months before the community uh, believed that I wasn't an undercover uh, police officer and I was a teacher. But after that, the community embraced me and, and the experiences that I gained out there were, were invaluable to my to my service and, and my ability to teach and reach uh, our young folks. It's amazing now that we don't have to go all the way to New York City to find that. We have that right here in our own backyard. We have the ability to recruit and retain folks like Herman, folks that are in my school making a difference each and every day. And it's not easy work. They'll tell you that, we'll tell you that, and as a principal, I feel like a, a, the, the most undersized offensive lineman out there. My job is to block and block and block so they can do what they do in the classroom each and every day, which is teach. And not just teach the academics, but they teach, they teach it all. They teach social, emotional. They tell kids, we love you, even when that chair goes flying across the table. They also have that ability to say, you know what, tomorrow's a different day. And when you come in tomorrow, Let's start again, let's hit the reset button. And that's something that the residents do. Just this last Friday, I was a part of a, a, a group of principals that went out to a Monroe Correctional Facility. I was invited by Seattle Teacher Residency to go out and, and talk to some prisoners about their experiences, many from Seattle Public Schools. Their questions were pointed, they were honest, and they made me think. They asked me about my discipline policies at my school. And I was proud to say, we're, we're working really hard on that. We know suspensions aren't the answer, and we need to do something different. So we talked about restorative practices. We talked about relationships. We talked about the work. And these were principals who have Seattle teacher residents in the building. And across the board, what we said to each other and what we know is the teachers who go through this program our leaders, they step into our building with a skill set that I don't see elsewhere. They come in able to talk about real issues that are in our community, and they do that authentically. 
And without programs such as T T uh, Seattle Teacher Residency, we would still be searching for these teachers. When I was talking to Herman before this, we talked about Lowell and we talked about the challenges up there. And the one thing he told me that I know is he's staying. He's not going somewhere else, he's staying at Lowell. <laughs> the residency is amazing, it's impactful. It helps our underserved communities deserve and get what they need. Um, one of our STR graduates right now has implemented a genius hour. And that's, that's an hour where kids express themselves through code, through claymation, through anime, through cartoons. Our other teachers were really reluctant to, to try this until they saw the engagement in that classroom. They saw how these kids looked at each other, their, their ability to communicate. Those are those soft skills we're talking about, work in groups, um, and really just enjoy themselves in the classroom. I know it's crazy to think that we can enjoy ourselves and we can have laughter and teachers are enjoying this. It's tough work, but it is the work that we need. It is what we are meant to do. Our, our Seattle teacher residents also provide leadership. They, they build up our other teachers. They bring a level of professionalism um, and enthusiasm that is hard to find in other applicants. As principals, we talk amongst each other. We talk and we ask each other, hey, how many residents do you have in your building? Oh, you got three. Well, I got five. I got seven. I got 11. And what happens is that you, you reach a critical mass sometimes, and then that retention isn't as hard. They support each other. They bring the whole school up. They bring our community up. They're very, very important to us, and we couldn't do this without them. Uh, we talked about the, the best restaurant in the nation being right here in Seattle. And uh, I'm sure some of you have some ins on that, but a lot of us will be waiting a long time to get in there. So my ask of you is to look at that little uh, uh, tent on your table for the amount of that dinner that you want that you probably won't get for quite a while. <laughs> we can support our residents. $100 goes a long way. $250 gets matched today. And that means a lot to us moving this forward. So please, pull out those checkbooks, put out those wallets, pull out the credit cards, add an extra zero, add two extra zeros. Today, we appreciate it. We thank you, and please continue to support the Alliance and their partnership with Seattle Teacher Residency. Thank you.